I never pictured my first trip to DC would be like this. Or division agents still struggle to hold this country together. It's time we kick our enemies out of their castles. We will not compromise. We will never surrender. This is our defining moment. Our chance. Hello beautiful and amazing people slash bastards butcher in the building warm welcome to my channel and another division 2 build video if you are new here hey welcome to the family definitely hit that like subscribe and share this video it will keep me alive during those tough nights while I'm making crazy builds for you and this one is no exception guys it's amazing legendary build and actually it feels like you have three skills and you may ask me butcher come on how it's possible and I would say because we are using vile mask guys you know by raising difficulty in this game mobs has more and more resistance for status effects so for example if you on paper you have 20 seconds for burning duration in real life on legendary difficulty they will burn maybe for six eight seconds and I found the secret guys while mask is not affected by any means with difficulty if you gonna apply status effect it will be automatically activate as well while mask damage and it will stay no matter what and on no matter what difficulty it's really handy especially when we are using artillery to to apply his bleed and stinger and stinger is really handy because it will destroy those annoying drones and other skills this build is absolutely amazing guys try it i, I made another one i guess but as usual, before we start agents, today I just want to let you know that we have some sponsored ads and if you don't have enough time or good teammates but you still want to have all the best items in your game then Deving.net is site for you. They have absolutely amazing team on Xbox, they will complete your order twice as fast. Now guys, everything is safe, this boost happens with account sharing. Guys, if you will not receive your item on time, refund will be given to you immediately. And with my promo code RBDIV, you will get 15% discount on all services. It's an amazing deal. Actually, right now there is going on sale for exotic request chess piece, so definitely don't miss out. It's dope chess piece for PvP and PvP. Also, I have to say that right now there is only direct payment, so for more information, please feel free to contact operator and they will reply you immediately. And now let's get back to my new legendary build and this one is absolutely amazing. As you see, it's really strong because you have basically three active skills, your stinger hype, your artillery turret and of course your wild mask damage. And you will applying that wild mask debuff left, right and center. Because everywhere you will apply bleed effect as well from your stinger and artillery turret. So everybody who will receive damage from you will automatically automatically sorry receive damage from your wild mask i'm really excited agents <laughs> damn so i'm tripping a little bit with my language please excuse me about that i'm still learning and guys this build is something fresh i think i've never seen wild mask in artillery to red build but uh, you before that i was running that uh, way from holster exotic holster and I thought that it's not performing the way I would like to because it's separating the damage and uh, for me it was like, uh, I don't know man, an artillery turret built with finger high and um, I, I really didn't felt that benefit at all from the holster and then I thought maybe I could switch for wild mask because in any way I am using demolitionist and uh, China light and two sombras and as you know guys while mask debuff is buffed 
apply explosive damage bonus and status effect amount of status effect you have on your build so i thought hey that's perfect fit actually so i decided to implement new not new but exotic wild mask and that actually works really well you have two options on this build as well for solo build i would suggest to go with the glass cannon guys because glass cannon as turn it out as well will boost your wild mask debuff and in solo not solo but in team play i would suggest you to stick with overwatch because you will give yourself and teammates 12 percent skill damage and weapon damage that's really really handy for your dps guys and other skill users so you will be really dope player and then don't forget that uh, demolitionist will give five percent extra weapon damage as well so everywhere is synergy and it works very very good together with wild mask Oh, also agents, one important question before we start today. What do you think about my intro style? Is it better? Do you like it more than previous? I just want to bring something new to the table, so leave a comment down below and give me that feedback. And with no further ado, let's get into it. For specialization, I'm using Demolitionist. Because since we are using Vile Mask, we need to get the maximum amount of explosive damage on our build. And also, Grenade Launcher is really handy against those annoying dogs on Legendary difficulty. This bastard will destroy those dogs left, right and center. Also, Demolitionist will provide your squad with extra 5% weapon damage. For the guns, everything is really simple. I'm running test subject name the assault rifle with perfect in sync. It's really easy to activate, you have to get or nail one shot and you will get the boost and you can get 40% skill damage buff. Also, really handy that those Changa Stingers from the back will go for your skills for Turret and Stinger Hive and they have a lot of health so basically you will be alive even near those Changas or bosses. For second gun you could run Capacitor, name, not name it but Exotic Assault Rifle or the mob because it will give you that survivability guys when you will kill somebody it will activate preservation talent on your gun and since on that gun you have 10 percent armor on kill and preservation by one kill you will get minimum 20 percent armor back that's really really handy so you have two options here if you don't have capacitor go with the mob shotgun Capacitor is really strong because with each skill tier you will have 7.5% extra weapon damage and of course we have maximum skill tiers on our build and this bad boy will work really well with our chess piece talent overwatch so synergy all over the place. So for the pistol guys you have again two options in sync or future perfection talent if you will play on legendary difficulty and lot Directives will be activated as well. I would suggest you to stick with in sync you because most likely you will run out of ammo and then you will not be able to stack your capacitor or perfect in sync. So pistol with in sync will be really handy to get that extra skill damage. But if you play on heroic or maybe just legendary difficulty, you can easily go for future perfection talent because it will give you overcharge and that's really handy. And right now, I just want to show you that my bleed effect will be gone, but while mask damage will be still alive. This is what I was talking about at my intro that with rising difficulty your status effect will be smaller and smaller on the enemies uh, but while masks damage is not affected by difficulty or the mobs so you will deal insane amount of damage for chest piece talent i'm using overwatch guys it's really easy to activate you have to stick in your cover and overwatch will be active and that's really handy in team play because you will give your squad 12 percent skill damage and weapon damage it's really really strong talent in team play if you are lone wolf i would suggest you to go with uh, glass cannon because in this case glass cannon will boost as well whilst mask damage 
so you will have insane damage boosted. What the hell, man? Who will interrupt the king? Ah, oh, man, matchmaking did the dirty job. Okay, I will be back soon. A few moments later. Just never talk to me like that, you damn son of a... Mm, give me that loot! <laughs> Uh, legendary difficulty uh, it's not the same again with all those skills anyway guys let's get back to our build so you have two options glass cannon and overwatch talent glass cannon is really strong so like I said if you are lone wolf and experienced player go for glass cannon but in team play overwatch is way to go guys and now let's talk about the build Guys, while Mask is really strong, it will be like your third skill, but to get most of this Mask, you have to invest in explosive damage. This is why I'm running China Light and two Sombras for explosive damage. And for Backpack Talent, of course, I'm running Shock and Ape Talent. It's activated by your skills applying status effect. It's really easy in this set because artillery turret will apply bleed, stinger hive will apply bleed and your grenades will apply bleed and with that you will activate shock and knife talent and everything is really simple. So I will get from specialization boost to my mask from china light and two sombras. It's the best case scenario. Of course, on the gear you should everywhere, everywhere roll skill damage and status effect. Status effect as well will boost vile masks overall damage. But I was not lucky with my somber knee pads. I will find for better one. But you have general idea how perfect the build should look like. So everywhere skill damage and status effect. Skill haste is not a problem guys, you will still get your artillery turret in 12 seconds, even if you're gonna roll everywhere skill haste, your turret will be back in maximum 10 seconds I think, so I don't see a lot of uh, uh, trade off there, so better go for status effect, because in that case you will apply insane amount of damage from your vile mask, and that's like I said your third skill. Everywhere is synergy, so your specialization works with your chest piece talent overwatch because with your specialization and your overwatch talent you will give your teammates 17% weapon damage bonus, that's just ridiculous. Your specialization works with your artillery turret, with your mask, wild mask. Your gear works again really well together with your vile mask and your artillery turret. Your talents are super dope everywhere from the top to the bottom you have some kind of synergy. Your guns works really dope, your capacitor is super strong with overwatch as well. Guys this build is super super dope. Uh, because like I said, I was thinking about that Wolfram holster, but I think uh, Wild's mask actually works better. Of course, thank you for watching and see you soon.